everyone right we're back from the zoo i am just loading the film up and i did say i will come on and show you how to make should have had it ready uh one of these that i created yesterday i've now put the stick pin in and uh so i'm going to show you how to do one of these and they are really really pretty um what I've done is I've got two canvases, and I'm going to use a canvas board because they're ideal size. A strip for the centre, and I'm using the canvas that was sent to me. You've got to put the book together, so you have to use something. So I'm just doing, I uh, have to add a little bit on the end. But uh, what I'm going to do first is just to take off the paper on the canvas if I can I see the haters were out I've got four thumbs now <laughs> bless them honest to god <laughs> they'll grow up one day we all know who it is <clears throat> anyway <laughs> so I'm going to position this and we I need a good inch around um, maybe a little bit more actually Oops, it is, because it is sticky back. So I'm just going to position this where I want it. Like. That'll be fine on there. Then we take, although I've got a strip of uh, sticky stuff on here, double-sided tape, I'm still going to put it, put it on. I don't know if I've got that level, actually, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then we need to... Place that on with a, a decent gap between that and that. <clears throat> Take the other board. Again, position that right. Squash that on. And then we're just going to jut this one up against it. Now, I will film as long as I can, but it may, might have to be done in two parts. So then all I do is I just jut that up against there. It doesn't matter, it's going. It's not going to be seen. Oops, it is a bit uh, silly, was that? Because it's going to be covered with material. So that's fine for that. And we just turn that, oops. Pick that up and turn the whole lot over. Get my blink card. Just make sure that the book closes. Yeah, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is just straight away I'm going to cut the corners because we don't need the corners on. So you just mitre the corners. Like that. You leave a little bit because you need to uh, tuck that in. So your corners don't show of the uh, of the um, board. Like that. <clears throat> yeah, we had a fun day today. It was brilliant. The lads loved it, and uh, you know, normally we try and get them all out together, but the lads um, couldn't make it. They went away, so we waited till they came back to take in the zoo. And they had fun. They loved it. Just do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, then all I'm going to do is just to pull over that. Best thing about this stuff is it's sticky. You don't have to mess about with glue. doesn't matter about it. Well, it does actually. There. Just make sure you can, with being fabric, you can move it over a bit. Push those corners in there and here. You need to push this over like that. Make sure that's meeting. And push that in there. Again, doing the same at that end. And let's just use your nail. And then what I'm going to do is. Oops, is just flip that over like that, just to get a nice neat edge. 
like that. Like I say, that's going to be covered, so that doesn't matter. And just press that down. And if you've anything just sticking out, you can just trim that bit off. And you're getting a decent size, um, a decent cover, like that. Yeah, and thanks for all your comments. I haven't got time to answer them all. I'm sorry. I am working through them. And uh, regarding orders, um, I've got half a dozen orders sat here ready to go. We can't send them now until... Uh, Monday because we went out we took some this morning but couldn't carry them all <coughs> sorry Raymond did there you go and that's that <coughs> now all I'm going to do with mine is I just snick mine a little bit just there just to help it so it doesn't when you fold that in like that it won't pucker like that and then all I'm going to do is put some material on that yeah like I say uh, we um took some, Ray took some parcels this morning while I was getting the kids ready and um, he couldn't carry them all. We do, you know, we do try but that doesn't always work. <coughs> now, what do I want? A piece of material. Uh, let's have a look. Actually, I'm going to use a piece of this, I think, because um, I want it shabby cheeky. Shabby cheeky! Not long enough, silly old. Come on, woman. Wake up. Oh, let's get this piece. And I'm not bothered about it being rough at all around the edges. Not at all. I like that. It's uh, shabby. So I'll just pop that there. Now this bit I will glue on. That's fine by me. I might cut the end off, that's all. Let me just try and straighten this up. Oops, there is it. But I'm not bothered if that phrase, that will add to it, actually. So all I'm going to do right now is just to glue down this end. And put the glue onto the material. And move that where you want it. And press that down. I think I need some more, oops, some more glue. And then you can work your way around the book. Like that. Okay, take it down one side, like that. <coughs> so just cut your material or whatever you're doing, cut it. Um, an inch wider than the actual canvas that you're using or board and then you've just seen how I've put it on that's all you do very easy very easy turn this around yep that's fine fits perfect There we go. And then just lift the edge of this up. Press it down really quick. And that's all I'm doing. If that frays out anything, fine. I'm not bothered about it even puckering there. Because it's going to have things in it anyway. What I could have done was just put a strip of, uh, you know, glue down there, but I didn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm not fussed at all. Or am I? <laughs> no, I don't mind it, actually, because it all adds to the character of the book. Now, um, 
what I'm going to do next is I am going to actually add the doilies. So I sat last night looking through the doilies that I have. And, you know, well, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what we've got. I'm not bothered whether the cream or white or anything because um, I like all of them. I don't want to do that one. That's too fine. Let me just get the bits out. I'm going to need that, I'm going to need that, and that. <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, this is my bag of doilies, and doily pieces, and trims. So let's just see what we've got. And like I said, I, I actually am not bothered at all. Now what I do want, I think, do I want one of those in? Yeah, because I actually like that. Even though it's very fine and delicate, <coughs> we can make this, <coughs> excuse me, into, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And that's the right way, so I'm going to just fold this in half. And that's all I do with them, you just fold them in half. Now what I'm going to do is, there's the... Um, inside of the book whoops a daisy I don't want that one the back cover I mean um, and I'm going to want to get this right just put a line of glue where you want it open the bit it doesn't matter if your pages overlap at all doesn't matter it's nice, it's nice to see all the doilies. And, um, you know, and then you've got two little pages there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this stunning flower. So I'm not going to use another one of those just yet. <clears throat> I am going to put one of these in. Look at that. So all I do is I just find where I want the fold, put the crease, uh, the glue in, and then fold that over. I'm going to fold that down and then I'm just going to add that to the book like that that's fine I love the way they look when you mix and you match them they look fabulous like that isn't that gorgeous you know, and you can make this a little tab or, or whatever you want to do with it. <clears throat> now, I've also got one of these. I want one of these in. I love the colours, the whites and, and the beiges. So I'm just going to... And you do have to be careful because you can burn yourself. So don't burn yourself. Just be careful. Do it on a non-stick mat, unlike me. But I'm used to hot glue. And then I'm just going to, again... I'm going to run it down the edge of the doily and then pop that on because that way you can keep your, your edges straight like that look how that's going to look when it's hanging out the book so I hope you can see what I'm doing I have one of these which I love because it's the page size look brilliant so we're going to put that in <coughs> Fabulous page. Hangs out a little bit, not bothered. Just going to pop this one down here a little bit. Like that. Like that. You know, you can glue your pictures on and your information or whatever you want to do. Brilliant. Loved them. Uh, let's have a look. I've got some... Oh. Now that's a bit awkward. I want to save that one for a project. So I won't be using that. But I've got lots of trims. That's another one I want to save. Oh, we can put another one of these in. Like that. <clears throat> I 
do it onto the dial itself. I've got quite a few doilies coming in. And you can just put as many as you want in these books. And the thing is, you're preserving them as well. It's keeping them clean, you know, but useful. Now, what I've got here... Um, hmm. Because I do want to keep... Well, I don't know, you see, because I actually like that. But I might make that a pocket or something on the front. Let me just see what else. Oh, we've got one of these. I've cut the doily out, out you know, the uh, of that. But we can use that as a little page. So all I'm going to do is to straighten that up. Do it like that, where you want it. And then just glue that. And centrise it if you can. So another little page. Um, see what else we've got. I've got some more, look. I'll put, uh, shall we put one of them? We'll put one of these in, I think. See, I've cut the doilies off them, the bits off them, but I want to leave them like that, because I actually do like them. And just do a line and fold it over, because you, you do have a, to follow a straight line. <clears throat> and I just thought, how gorgeous these are going to be to give this as a gift especially to your grandma your, you know nana whoever whatever you call them and your your mum you know just to give her a special gift have we got one of those in no we'll put one of these in isn't that pretty and it's got the two colors in so that's what i like now i'm going to do something with this one i think let me just see is I could do it like that. I do like having the different... No, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to bring this out a little bit. I do like having the different um, doilies in the book. Oops, a daisy. Picked wrong one up. Come on. I'm glue G silly old. So we're just going to, and these are so simple, look what I'm doing, they're just, you know, it's not hard. Now, I've got a large one here, so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to run the glue gun over that, and then fold that bit down, like that, and then run the glue over it again. And make that a page. And that will fit the book perfect. Just want to make sure, yep. Look. They're fabulous, aren't they? <laughs> I love them. Now what I'm going to do is put something fancy on there. And uh, let me see. What have we got? Lots of trims. I actually like that one. I do, I like that one. So, I don't mind it being brown at all. Let's fold that over. And then... And they're so easy to put together but look stunning. Love that. Lots of pages to add pictures or whatever you want to do. I'm going to finish that off with a very delicate one, what we started with. This is the smaller one. Uh, and this is going to be the front the front page, sort of. And what I'm going to do is just glue that. And hang that over the edge. Get it in position. And just tuck that over there for the, you know, where they're all laid. I think that's it. Oops. I've got a thread. <laughs> I 
No, wait a minute. I've got one of these that Linda... Oh, do you know, I'm going to put that in. That's what Linda gave me. Um, Excalibur Nation. So I'm using them, Linda. <laughs> yeah, like that. Nice picture, Matt. How's that? <coughs> and there you go. That's my book of doilies. Very easy. Very quick. But stunning. Like that. So that's the book. Like that. Now, I'm just going to get myself... Hmm. Where have I put it? I have a... Just a minute, let me have a look, because I've got something I want to do. There we are. Let me see. Yeah, I might want one of those. Um, probably one of those. Sorry about this. Oh, I've got one of those as well, look. <laughs> Should have put one of those in, shouldn't I? But never mind. I've got enough in that here. Don't too much more in. I'm just getting my laces out. I have some stunning, stunning laces. I'm just going to get all the bits and pieces out. This is what my collection of vintage stuff. And, um... Keep it in a box with an airtight lid on it to protect it. So I've got lots of things to play with. Yeah. Oh, and I was given... I was given some flowers, wasn't I? Some doily flowers. Now, what did I do with them? They're bagged up somewhere. <laughs> Just hang on a minute because I've got lots and lots and lots of laces in drawers. Here we go. Sorry about that. <coughs> right, so here we go. I've got lots of things I can use. So we'll keep those out. Let's just have a look. What have we got here? Ooh, look at that. Stunning. I keep all the extra trims and bits and pieces as well. I could use one of those. Yeah, I might use one of those, actually. Right, so I'm just going to pop bits away that I don't want. Yeah, might use some of that. I'll keep that out. Not going to be using that. Oops. Sorry if we're, I'm messing about, but, you know, I... When I'm doing things like this, they work because I spend time on them. Oh, we've got some bling. Might use that. And that. Oh, and I'll have to make one of those. Oh, you know one of the butterflies I did? Yeah, I think we'll make a butterfly, uh, a dragonfly, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we'll make a couple of those. Yeah, why not? Um, so, like I say, there are lots and lots and lots of different laces, and I'm going to use some of that for a, uh, something. 
Right, I think that's that one. Just gorgeous. Oh, I might use that. That's a flower I've made. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to put all the other doilies away. I don't need. I don't think I need any of those. They were all cut from a tablecloth. Oh. This one. And I'm leaving the bits out. I've got those as well that Joe Price did for me. Some of those, bit of this, bit of that. Might need that. I'm going to use that. Because <laughs> it all matches. Love this colour. Just love it. Right. Um, like I say, I'm just going to put the other doilies away that I don't need. Because some of this is in. That's a collar. Like a scarf. Vintage. 1800s. I'm not going to be using those. There's some more collars. Years and years and years old. Nope, not going to be using those. Might use them. Don't want to use those. And I'm not using that. Let's have a look at what we've got left. Okie dokie. Now besides that, um, I've got this bag. <coughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got lots in here, not that one. Um, I'm going to use that. Um, and I, like, I love this. Shall I use that? Yes, I might do. Oh, I might use that one though. <laughs> it's hard knowing what to use anyway. But I've got all this vintage stuff here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is just build on the book. So I hope you can see. I've got it all spread out where I want it. Um, and I think this is the one I'm going to use. F oh, no, it isn't. This is the... Is it? No. This is the one I'm going to use first. Now, I'm just going to put some on the front and back. I'm going to leave that about there. So that'll do. It's just getting all your things out and uh, seeing what you've got, to be honest. One, two, three, four of those. That'll do nicely. Pop that away. And then all I'm going to do, find the right way around, because I always get it wrong. don't think you can really tell on this one. We'll do this one. No, we'll do that one. <laughs> so I hope you're still watching. And I'm sorry to mess you about, but you know, you've got to get it right. And I always start in the middle. So that is going to be the middle. And let it hang over. Don't worry about that. Always let it hang over. And these are very, very quick. It's the decision time, you know, about what you're making with it that's the hardest job. Now, I do like that being like that, so I'm going to leave that on. In fact, I'm going to leave that loose. All I'm going to do with this um, is cut that off. Like that. Turn the book back over and make sure I glue down the edge. 